Okay. I hope all of y'all are ready for this case. Because you already know I'm ready for it. So, what's today's case here? For y'all that don't know me, my name is Judge Ware Michelson. My name is Judge Ware Michelson. And uh, my name is Judge Ware Michelson. And I'll be doing the case of... Uh, who is this? Uh, who is this? It's going to be a case of Mr. Gary and Is versus Israel. And the reason we're in court today because of these two individuals have been because Israel didn't bring Mr. Gary's uh, stomach medicine. If um, if stop me if I'm wrong, cause uh, Pretty Don didn't bring him his medicine, and um, so uh, not Pretty Don, Israel didn't bring his medicine, bring Mr. Gary's medicine. So we're here in court today, and Israel served six days in jail behind this incident. Is that right, Mr. Gary? You sure is right, uh, Judge Where Michelson. You are right. And uh, I condemn Israel since he didn't pick up my medication. I want him to pay me $15,000 cash. Fifteen, uh, you say, uh, fifteen, uh, thousand dollars? That's not a bad case right there, uh, Mr. Gary. Judge Weir Michelson, wait a minute now. I, I do not deserve to be billed fifteen thousand dollars. I don't have that kind of money. Just because I didn't send him no medicine? Uh, Israel, I did not give you a turn to speak, okay? It's Mr. Gary. I didn't give you a turn to speak. Okay? I didn't give you a turn to speak. So, anyway, but that, you know what? Forget this case stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do the sentencing. That's what I do. I'm not like these uh, other people just wait 30 minutes before the actual sentence is done. I just go straight to it. You have two lines with me, then I'll sentence you. It's okay. Israel, since you don't want to give people that medication, especially your elders, boy, since you want, since you don't want to give them the medication, you will have to pay fifteen thousand dollars to Mr. Gary for his medication. And I'm sorry, that's it. I'm sorry, but um, that's why it is adjourned. And you got, only, and you got only thirty days to come up with the money. Or, if you don't come up with the money, Mr. Gary, you could come right back in this courtroom, and I'll give him the exact sentence he deserves. Adjourn. Are you happy, Mr. Gary? Yep. Yep, you did. Yeah, I am happy, Israel. But, you know, I just want to know you better have my 15000 by the next six days in this next week. I better have my money by next week. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say on that, Israel. You know what, Carl? What I really hate is that Mr. Gary's putting through Israel through all this chaos right now. He's putting Israel through all this chaos because he didn't, because he didn't want to get his medicine. Just, just stupidness. I mean, I just hope everything at in court worked out tonight. Yeah, at least put it down. At least I hope everything went good in court. Uh, um, the judge, um, the judge didn't act crazy like he usually act. Shh. Ain't that the truth? Well, at least he didn't go in the courtroom and start singing. 
Daddy, please. Karen, boy, I brought you in this world. And as your father, I brought you in this world and I'll take your butt out. Don't talk to me like that ever again in your life, Karen. Sorry, Pops. Just go ahead, Preacher Don. Say what you have to say. Shoot, there's really nothing I can say, but I just hope everything went well. Sup, Mousy. Sup, Billy Card. Sup, Card. Sup, Preacher Don. Um, I don't have very good news. Um,. Mr. Gary, they gave the, Judge where Michelson told me to pay fifteen thousand dollars to Mr. Gary because I didn't give him his medicine. <laughs> Move, Karen. Good news. Are you serious? Fifteen thousand dollars? Come on now, Mr. Gary.